welcome back. Today I partnered up with Neutrogena to bring you guys one of my favorite go-to looks which is a dewy, glowy, healthy, and very quick My I Add. I think that's really important when it comes to makeup. And for me right now, I'm all about the dewy, glowy skin for the summertime. So now that it's coming up, I wanna show you how I achieve this glowy, dewy look without looking oily. I wanna show you guys what I do to make sure that this adheres to my face and it stays nice and hydrated. Now, you guys also know that Neutrogena is all about beauty when it comes to makeup. It's all about enhancing what you already have and that's why I'm really excited about this look because it's minimal makeup. It's not using heavy powders or any heavy kind of um, liquids or creams or anything of that nature, but it's really focusing on the skin and then using a few different things here and there to kind of add a little bit more dimension and glow and a little bit of dewiness. I will be featuring some products from Neutrogena because they have their new Hydro Boost line. Now, I'm sure you guys know about the um, the Hydro Boost Water Gel Moisturizer, which I featured in my channel, um, I think maybe like a year and a half ago or maybe two years now. So it's been a while. And now they actually came out with cosmetics, makeup, and more skincare products. One in particular that I'm really excited about is the Hydro Boost Water Gel with SPF 15. So it's basically this, but with sunscreen, which is so, so awesome. So now you can rock this during the daytime and it's super hydrating on the skin, guys, which is really nice. So it really helps to give that skin that moist, dewy look that I absolutely love. So if you guys are into that look, then I'm gonna show you guys today how to rock and achieve that look that is also gonna last you all day. So with that being said, let's jump right into the tutorial. So I'm going to begin this look by applying a caffeine mask by 100% Pure. And I love this one in particular because the caffeine really helps restore uh, sun damaged skin. And it's also anti-inflammatory, which is great to use after a long day in the sun. Next, I'm going to use the Neutrogena Hydro Boost SPF Water Gel to moisturize my skin. And what I like about this water gel formula is that it absorbs quickly like a gel and it has like that long lasting intense moisturizing power of a cream. So it's gonna boost the skin's hydration level and lock it in all day. So one of the first things I like to do early on in my makeup application is do some sort of lip treatment or a conditioner or something of that source. So today I'm using a hydrating lip treatment to prime my lips for the future color that I'll be using. And it's really just going to condition and help lock in the moisture of my lips. Now for the natural, moisturized, and fresh look that I'm going for, I will be using the Hydro Boost Hydrating Tint because it applies flawlessly while instantly quenching my skin and it makes it look really smooth, hydrated, and fresh all day. Now for this, I will be applying it with the wand directly onto my face and then I will be using a beauty sponge that is nice and damp to dab the foundation onto my skin so I have really nice, beautiful coverage. So next comes concealer, and I'm going to be using two different uh, shades of the Hydro Boost Hydrating Concealers because I like the darker shade to contour a little bit, and then I'm gonna use the lighter shade to brighten up the under eye area and also help cover up any imperfections that I have on my face. And the reason I'm using these to contour also, which I normally don't do with concealer, but the fact that it has a really unique hydrating core, it really helps keep the skin hydrated and the concealer just glides onto my face. So it's really easy to work with and to blend. And I think it's really important to have, um, and really cool, honestly, when we have a product that has a hydrating core inside of it, especially a concealer, because the under eye area is not going to dry up or flake up or anything like that. It's gonna look more flawless and beautiful. So yeah, I'm just going to use these two as you guys see here, and I will be blending with a really nice, flat fluffy brush to blend out that contour. Next I'm using a liquid illuminator and I'm going to apply it directly onto a damp beauty blender and I'm just going to start by dabbing this lightly onto my cheekbones to give me a little bit of a glow or a lot of it and I'm also going to use this underneath my eyebrows, above my eyebrows, down the bridge of my nose and that's pretty much it. It's gonna glow really beautifully. 
So now for this look in particular, since I am not using any setting powders, I will be using a setting spray, a mist, that has a little bit of a glow to it as well. I will be using it twice, so this is the first time, and then I'm just gonna let it settle. And then while that settles, I will be curling my lashes and then adding a few coats of my favorite mascara. When it comes to doing a look like this, I think it's also all about the mascara because the eyes, since I'm not doing too many elements to the eyes, I think it's important for me to really make my lashes stand out and really open up my eyes. So finding a mascara that's going to extend my lashes, curl them, and give them lots of volume like this one is really important. And I'm using this product by Make It Forever. It's a waterproof eyeshadow. It's cream based, so it's really easy to apply. And I like to apply it first with a flat shader synthetic brush to really get that color on the eyelid. And then to blend out the edges so it's not a harsh line throughout, I just take a fluffy brush and then just buff out the edges. Now I'm using a brow amplifier. This is a brow gel and it's the color brown. I usually do black but I don't want my eyebrows to be like a main focus and I want to tone them down a little bit so it's a softer look. So I chose to do a soft brown eyebrow color that's going to lighten up my eyebrows a little bit in a very natural looking way. So I'm just gonna comb them and brush them. This is so simple guys. This is why I absolutely love this look because it's simple, it's soft, and it's fresh. Next comes the lip color, and for this I'm using the Hydro Boost Hydrating Lip Shine. And I especially love, guys, that it has that conditioning feel of a lip balm. It's not sticky, it's not drying, but it also has that shine of a gloss. So it's very comfortable to wear. And the color that I ended up choosing for this look in particular is a very subtle color, a very soft shade of pink, but it just makes my lips look smoother, juicy, and supple in a very natural way. And then last but not least, I'm just gonna do a little bit of a mist of the same setting spray just to lock everything in place. I hope you guys enjoyed today's dewy, glowy, healthy, and easy tutorial. Have a beautiful day. Any more info, it's gonna be down in the info bar, and I will see you guys in my next video.